What's up? Congratulations on an, uh, a great performance over a former champion. Obviously a big, big win for you, man. Quick evaluation. I mean, how do you feel like you executed tonight, and how are you feeling right now? Uh, I felt great. Uh, I just executed everything that we trained, that we play. We, I studied so much for this fight. Um, I just hear it to my coach, and I, I think the, the the aspect to be on the empty arena before in Brazil, being cornering Vicente Luque on Jacksonville, I kind of, I visualized so much. Like, I think it, the, the fight with Demi and Mike, I got more nervous. But this one was more in the moment. I was a little bit more calm. I know he was danger in the beginning, so in the beginning I was very aware. But like nothing surprised me at all. I know it could hurt him. I kind of felt that he could hurt me more. But as the fight was going, I say, oh, okay, he hit like he hit hard, but like nothing like nothing like I never felt with Gene Luke. He hit super hard. And uh yeah, I just execute everything I train. I visualize the fight on that way with the finish. I didn't get the finish on the beginning. That is not a bad thing for sure. I want to finish, but I want to show everything that I, everyone that I can fight five rounds with a former champion, take him down and do everything that I did. You know, I, I feel great right now. For sure, I still a lot of things that not being crazy, but a lot of things that need to get better, need to get fixed, the follow up, a couple of things that Henry just pointed to me but yeah I'm happy with my performance for sure clearly the biggest win of your career but uh your emotion afterwards you know it looked yeah. like you were kind of fighting back tears a little bit can you say what was what was going through your head at that moment yeah because uh I sacrificed so much I need to be in the moment in when I when I go to the fight like when I, I sign a bout agreement and I have I have a fight coming up I make, I make, uh, if I translate that, it's gonna be like a, a stairs of the ghost, or like stairs of the ghost. A lot of things that I need to do to win the fight. And the hardest thing to me is to be honest with myself and do everything that I plan to do. And I plan a lot of things, oh, I gotta stretch every day, I gotta do this session, I gotta do that session, I gotta do this drill, I gotta do that drill, I gotta study. And I do so much on that and it's hard to do every every little thing, but I try to be honest with myself and do everything that I need to be on a on a crazy zone. And uh, when I step in the octagon, I feel if I do everything that I said I supposed to do and I do it, I get there very comfortable and I get in the zone. So I got in the zone, but it's a lot of emotion to like, wow, I did everything I did. Okay, I'm happy and now we're gonna perform and I execute and just like, wow. He's just like, okay, he, he, he worked, you know, like he paid off. It was, it's not easy. People don't realize, like, I got my two kids, I got my wife. But when I got to a camp, I need to, you know, I need to go out a little bit. I need to be with myself. I need to study the fights. I need to, and I'm kind of nerdy on that. doesn't look like, but I study a lot. I break down the things and I make my notes. And, I, and there's a lot of work and people don't realize that. But I think it's been showing off my performance. And after the fight, I always like, wow. It's kind of like a release, you know, okay, I execute, let's go, and then, and then emotions come a little bit. Can you point to what the key is to your success? Because you've always had talent, but there was a time when your, your spot on the roster was at risk, right? I mean, yeah. there was talk of them releasing yeah. you. Yeah. And now you're about, you know, maybe having a number one contender fight in the very near future, maybe a title fight. What's, what's the key to go from there to, to here? It eats a lot of things. It's not, it's not only one thing, but I remember that spot. Like, I remember it. I supposed to fight Paul Felder, and I, I had the surgery on my elbow. I didn't fight Felder, and uh, that was the last fight on my contract. And they gave me Jason Sago, and I know I had to win that fight. But I kind of I started doing a lot of things. I trained, I changed my conditioning coach. I I started doing a mental coach. I I I start adding a lot. And but I think one of the one of the things that helped me a lot was got back to jujitsu. You know, I was just like that was my roots. I was I was falling in love with the with the with the striking, and I was just doing strike. I was sparring, and sometimes I was taking the guy down. And on the beginning, it was too easy to take the guys down and submit. And then I like, you know, I'm in a comfort zone. I gotta go more stand up. And I start just going stand up, and I miss the timing with the takedowns, and I miss the timing with jiu-jitsu, and then I kind of realized, okay, that's my roots, I need to come back, and then I started competing a lot of jiu-jitsu, training more, and I think that was the key. As soon as I got back to jiu-jitsu, everything started clicking a little bit, takedowns were there, strike was there, 
and I just kept training. And I think I, it, it's kind of like click a little bit, and then they, and, and that they took a couple loss after that. I lost to Dan Hooker. That was not a thing that I realized. I need to study more. I cannot get. I was get too pumped up to the fight. I, I rocked the guy a little bit. I was going forward crazy. I want to finish the fight. And then after that fight, I learned that. But I think it's just it's just a process. And after I stopped with the crazy weight cut, I started performing a lot better too. That that was the, the key, I think. One of the keys. It's a lot of things, not one thing that I can point, but we, we stopped with that craziness. Yeah, I felt a lot better. Nice. Last thing for me, we don't know what's going to happen yet with the title fight, but, I mean, you obviously have a very good case for being in there. Um, have you talked to your team about how that would work? How, how would it work if you and Usman were to fight? How, how would the preparation work? How would the coaching work? How, how would it play out? I don't know. That's <laughs> going to be weird. I don't know. But we're both, prof we're both professionals. I like the guy a lot. I'm not just being the – no, I like the guy. He motivated me a lot when he became a champion. I saw him – Zero. He, he he didn't have his product debut when I met him. And we you always like to work together because I have the jujitsu, he had the, the wrestling, we grapple a lot crazy since the beginning. Yeah, I don't know, it would be weird, but I wanna fight for the title. No, I wanna be the champion. And uh, he's the champion, that's the only reason I'll, I'll call for this fight, otherwise it not make no sense. But yeah, I wanna fight for the title next. I know it might be Masvidal and all that craziness, but I'm I just told Dana on the backstage, hey, I'm available for July. You know, if, if those guys keep in going crazy, I wanna fight for the title. If not, if if you book another fight for the title, give me who is available. If it's not Kobe, give me Leon Edwards, give me my, I, I I just wanna stay busy. Gilbert right here. Uh, before your fight at the media day, you said that Kamara was giving you a lot of good insights before uh, your fight with Tyron. So after spending 25 minutes with Tyron, did anything surprise you in there? Not really. He's normal. He's just a human being like me, like you. He just, I think, let, let's say he has like a couple of gifts. As, as an athlete, he's strong. He has more reach than me, but as a fighter, fighter, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. But the speed on the hands, power, but nothing, nothing, nothing special. Like a tough fighter, but nothing. Oh, <laughs> he hit hard. Yeah, he does. Look at this hit. Look right there. He hits hard juice. And we sparring before his fight, before my fight. That guy hit super hard. And then I gotta be like, we spar before my fight. We spar before his fight. I gotta keep my hands up, otherwise that guy knocked me out on the on the warm up. So it's nothing different, you know. And then on Twitter, you for a while you you were calling everyone out in multiple weight classes. I even think you uh, offered to fill in a middleweight when you were in yeah, Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now at this point in your career, do you have to be a little more selective after this big win? My manager Ali, he just said that hey, stop with the craziness right now. But the thing was in Jacksonville. Uh, as soon as Jacare got the, the COVID-19, I would say, wow, they might cancel everything. You know, I might not fight Tyron Woodley. I might fight this guy tomorrow. I better, I better get that fight anyways. They wait and everything get canceled. And I call Sean. He said, you crazy. You're going to fight Woodley. And then I say, I'm just, you know, the fight's still up. Yes, the fight's going to. Okay, okay, no problem. You know, and then, but he got crazy. He said, no, I think it'd be, I need to be a little bit more selective right now for sure. But. I think all my improvement, all my evolution on the sports, just because I'm competing, I'm getting better, I'm fighting, and I'm not afraid to fight. I want to fight. For sure, I want to fight for the title next, but if it's not happening, don't don't think I'm going to hold on that position. I'm going to fight another guy, you know? And one final one, you fought in Brazil, and then you cornered Vicente in Jacksonville, but those were in arenas. This was in a smaller venue with a smaller octagon, so did it, did it feel a lot different fighting in the Apex? Not really, not really. In Brazil was crazy. First experience with empty arena in Brazil was like, I got nervous on the beginning. I was like, wow, okay, I'm fighting. But then I went to Vicente and uh, and it was the same feeling. And then I started visualizing a little bit. And then I got to the to the Apex and I kind of I got here on Thursday to do the media, to do the pre-fight interview. And then I I then I'm like, hey, let me take a look right here. Let me see what well, it's gonna be the the. And then I kind of took that look. Thursday, I did my visualization. I, I kind of, I kind of go aware with the place. Friday again, today again, and then and I, I felt great today. To be honest, I wasn't nervous. I was in the gray zone going to the fight. 
it sounds like you have a process that you go through to get your mind in the in fight in fight ready. Was this any different as you went through your process right there? No, no, same process. A lot of work. Even I think that one was a little better because I had more time. But on those short notices, a lot of work. People have no idea. Like for the two weeks notice that I got a fight with Green Nelson and the Alexei Kunchenko. I gotta go through all that process in two weeks. It's it's harder, but uh, I got. I think I've been getting a lot of confident after those fights, and uh, I have time to this fight to approach. Oh, you know, I know where mentally I gotta be on the fight physically, and as especially when they change the date for the twenty third for the thirtieth. That extra week was was amazing. It was when I click everything, I put everything together, and I'm like, okay, we're going to that fight, you know. And everything clicks on a perfect time. You you mentioned it was really strange to fight without an audience in Brazil. It, is it tougher to get up to go? I'm in a fight without the audience for you. In Brazil, it was hard to to make that okay with fighting, you know. It was but. Like I said, and going to the Vicente's looking fight, I get a little more aware of that. And facing Tyron Woodley, he's dangerous in the beginning. I cannot, I, I, I had to do these adjust, like or being nervous on the beginning, be aware in the beginning because Damien wasn't that that threat for me on the beginning because he's more as a grappler. I'm a grappler too, and then I could I could get a little nervous and a little like get things up as the fight was going. But Woodley is danger, you know, I got to be aware since the fight started. And I think I realized that and I adjust that and, and I execute. Thanks. You're welcome.